Do you ever feel like people respond badly to the questions that you ask? Maybe someone asked a question and they assumed that you were trying to be rude, mean, or insensitive. Or maybe they just got the wrong impression of the intent behind your question. Well, today we're going to be talking all about that, as well as three massive tips to help you have a better relationship with people, but also build better communication skills and more intentional conversation. So many of you on this channel know that I have a disability. I don't have hands. And that means I've gotten a lot of questions in the past about my hands, how I'm able to function, how I've learned things, and lots of other questions as well. But today I wanted to talk to you about one example, one kind of question that I've gotten. And we're gonna take that and use that as our framework for the rest of this topic to help you get an idea what a bad question looks like and how to change that into a better question that not only won't offend people, but also something that the other individual can actually answer. So the question of the day, my most common question that I get asked about my hands, about my disability is this, how do you do it? Now that may seem like a super simple question, right? Well, I'm gonna to explain to you guys today why not only that's a bad question, but also why I actually can't physically answer that question. What I've learned over the years is to analyze the questions that people ask, because oftentimes people don't actually analyze their own questions. And we should all learn to do that. That's why you're watching this video. But what I've learned is when people say, how do you do it? They're actually asking, how do you do it without hands? And that is a question that I cannot answer because I've never had hands before. So you see how perspective, how our own experiences can kind of get mixed into the questions that we ask. And sometimes that's great, but sometimes that's not so great and it's not helpful for the person who's trying to answer the question. So that's one example. And that's the example that we're kind of gonna use throughout this video. Now I'm gonna give you those three main tips on how you can analyze your own questions before you ask them, and also how to get better at being a more intentional communicator. Before we get into those three tips, comment down below and tell me an experience when you were asked an odd question, or comment down below and tell me when you have asked a question that was based on your own perspective and maybe it didn't go very well. Okay, so let's get to tip number one. I'm so excited, this is gonna be so great. I'm, I'm just like, you guys, this is great. Tip one is perspective. And this is why that example works so well because we talked about perspective already. Now let's use perspective as a way to analyze our own questions. This is tip number one, perspective. Put yourself in the shoes of the person that you're asking the question. So if you were asking a question to your sister, think about if she asked the same question to you, how would you feel? How would that make you feel? How would you respond? If you've already hit this tip and you're like, that is not a good question because I would be really offended if I got asked that question. The likelihood of them responding in a positive way is probably very low. So do not ask the question if you've already hit the point where they would respond badly. Okay, tip number two, ask questions of your questions. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. Our pastor actually did this. Um, he talked about this in one of his sermons and it just made me think so much about the intent behind our questions. So if you are asking a question that has an intent that you're not revealing, is that really a good question? Um, let me use an example. If I were to ask my mom, hey, are you going out soon? And my intent is really like, can we go to lunch before you go out? Then I'm not actually expressing my real question, which is, if you're going out, can we go to lunch first? That's the actual question that I'm wanting to ask. So sometimes the intent behind our question is really, really important for the other person to know or we're not practicing good, honest communication. Now, before we go to tip three, let me give you a really quick example of the disability example that I gave you about people asking me, how do you do it? So really the intent behind the question, how do you do it is, I have hands and I can do that but you don't have hands and you can still do that. Wow, like like that's the intent. They're just, they're like shocked and surprised that I can do that. 
but sometimes people don't actually express that that statement before the question so i don't understand where they're coming from um, so that's why it's really important to be asking questions of your questions making sure that the intent of your question is actually coming before your question okay guys tip number three and this is so important it doesn't matter what example we're using where when how like all the questions this is key and that is be honest <laughs> wow be honest um this is so important i mean honestly like this is what i appreciate when people ask me questions about my disability because it takes a lot of guts to ask those questions and i love questions like seriously if i'm making you guys feel like i don't like questions i love questions ask me questions down below like ask me about how i function how i do things i love answering questions but make sure that you're applying these these principles to your questions even in this comment section below like think about all of the questions that you're asking very intently and hopefully this will help you be a better communicator now I'll end with this. When you start taking time and analyzing the questions that you're asking, the intent behind it, and if there is honesty in your question, you start understanding how people respond and how what you say affects how people respond. Not only for yourself, like when someone says something to you and, and you respond in a certain way, you understand, wow, like that's, that's coming from this place, but also understanding why other people respond that way. Uh, being a little bit more observant on everyone's perspective and how that affects how they respond and how they act. Uh, it's so important to be really focusing on analyzing people's behavior, analyzing what you can do to make that behavior, to make that response better, or should I say like received in a better way. All of these tips are things that you can apply to any relationship. I know we use that disability example. Um, that's because that's something that's personal to me, but like anything that you guys are asking, any questions that you're asking, remember those three things, perspective, asking questions of your questions and being honest. Are you thinking before you're speaking? Are you being transparent? Are you thinking about other people? Guys, that's all for me today. I hope that you have a fantastic day and that you are a better communicator today versus yesterday, that you learned to be just 1% better today. And I will see you on the next video.